way. But it, it seems that it was still on its side. People need to know and realize that this is a structured, domed, metallic machine that is running under its own type of propulsion system. These illustrations are based on his direct testimony and hours of discussions since 2016. Here is a small extraterrestrial body, about 39 inches long, that was retrieved in that operation. There are extraterrestrials of various sizes. The last known count I had of different civilizations involved with this, about 60 to 70 in that range, and I think there could be more. Now. Solar flares. What are we, what are we talking about, y'all? Officials in Argentina and Uruguay are working to restore power after a massive electrical failure left parts of both countries in the dark. The widespread blackout started Sunday morning. Authorities... And it's very there. Very there. Very there. That's, That's the a sign. new one. Welcome back to the coolest channel on YouTube, man. Look, I got a crazy lineup for y'all here today, man. Make sure y'all go ahead and smash that like button so these videos can get to the masses. But look, man, we've been doing a crazy job, and I do appreciate y'all. But look, man, hopefully y'all been having a good day. Just know we're going through this thing called life together, people. Let's get it. Make sure y'all going out here doing y'all own research, too. Don't believe everything you see here on the internet. You're going to want to see this. Stretching off into the horizon, we have one of the largest tabular icebergs currently on our planet. It just keeps going. Something this big is kind of hard to comprehend even when it's right in front of you, but this speaks to how much fresh frozen water is down in the Southern Ocean. For anyone wanting some perspective, take a look at the birds that are flying next to this thing. It's probably about 200 feet high and that's just about 15% of what's sticking out of the water. The rest is down below, like an ice wall, drifting through the ocean, currently heading east toward the South Orkney Islands. Kind of wouldn't believe it if... <laughs> I'm Major General Albert Newton Stubblebine III, uh, U.S. Army retired. And I spent 34 years in the military and uh, uh, ended up as a major general. And my last assignment, I was responsible for all of the Army's strategic intelligence forces around the world. The amount of energy required to melt the girders, the steel in the tower, cannot be gotten to a melt point with the fuel that was in the airplane. Not possible. So any melting did not occur as a result of the hit from the airplane. Point. I call it dot, okay? Dot. When you look at the tower coming down, what you see are at each floor successive puffs of smoke. Puff. Puff, 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 all the way down. What are the puffs of smoke coming from? Well, they claim they're from the collapsing floors. Uh-uh, uh-uh, no, no, no. Those puffs of smoke are controlled demolitions. That's exactly what they are, because that's exactly how they work. The collapse of the building was caused by controlled demolition. Building 7, the owner, he is heard on the video, okay, and he says, pull it. Just pull it. Uh, and they made that decision to pull, and then we watched the building collapse. And then the building collapsed. What does pull it mean? What are the words pull it mean? Let me tell you, that's the order for controlled demolition. That is the phraseology that's used for blowing up something. And that's when Building 7 blew up. Go back to bed, America. Your government is in control again. 
Here, here's American Gladiators. Watch this. Shut up. <laughs> Go back to bed, America. Here is American Gladiators. Here is 56 channels of it. Watch these. Hey, look, real talk, though. Look, man, play on your ignorance, man, because a lot, you know, they play on your ignorance. Most people aren't going to go out here and do research. They would rather just be fed a story that makes them feel comfortable rather than the truth. We all know, man, look, as big as those buildings were, planes were not bringing the whole building down and burning through steel like that, collapsing the whole building. If anything, you can knock off like a top floor or something like that. You know, like, y'all go out here, man. Check these videos out. It's crazy, though, right? Scan. It is the a site for the Lockheed Range underground entrance. What's in there? Well, there are man-made, and this is the big story. No one's telling you. A large number of the UAPs are, in fact, deep black budget electrogravitic electromagnetic field propulsion devices based on the study of extraterrestrial vehicles that began in the 1940s. That is a fact, and we can prove it. So when you see these sort of places, just remember many of them I want to be careful what I'm saying here. Someone who is in charge of the black budget in the United States in 2022 went out to the Lockheed Skunk Works based on some information he had. He was shown a bunch of old jet aircraft. He knew he was being gaslit. And they reached out to me and I said, what do you want? I'll give you everything we have. And that's what's happened over the last 16 months. So I cannot name this person, but they're a wonderful person of enormous integrity and a hero of our country. Um, so I want to just go through quickly some of the new ones who aren't here. Now, the reason these have initials, they're waiting to be cleared for a coming forward publicly. They're afraid. Let me explain to you why they are. This man, here's just his incoming letter. We get these every day. Now, uh, he's afraid he'll lose his pension. He signed an 80-year non-disclosure agreement. He has been threatened, and some of these have seriously had their lives threatened. It's a very thuggish situation going on that the Department of Justice and FBI need to drill down on very quickly. Next. Here's an illustration of one event that he was involved in uh, back when there was an extraterrestrial vehicle that crashed and then ultimately ended up at Lawton, uh, Oklahoma, near Fort Sill. Uh, this man has been in a skiff with these objects. These illustrations are based on his direct testimony and hours of discussions since 2016. Here is a small extraterrestrial body, about 39 inches long, that was retrieved in that operation. There are extraterrestrials of various sizes. The last known count I had of different civilizations involved with this, about 60 to 70 in that range, and I think there could be more. Next. This is one of the underground command centers that uh, he was assigned to in the from the Pentagon. Uh, he was with technical management office and then some other offices and investigated some criminal activities that occurred with a three-star general uh, related to this subject that the Department of Justice was basically unable to prosecute because they were denied access to the operations. Next. Here's one that was uh, also in this another facility. This is an extraterrestrial vehicle. Uh, he actually was there very close to it. This gentleman wants to come forward. He needs to be protected, and that's why we're calling for explicit witness protection and explicit pension and asset protection for these whistleblowers. Next. And this is just an indication of a type of electromagnetic system that actually... It has, like, lights on the side. And it's red. It just looks like a ball, huh? Yeah, it looks it's like a tiny little only, ball. Not only does it look like a ball, it, if you see the back of it, it's it's kind of flying like slanted. Like. It kind of looks like a meteor. It's flying backwards. Look, it's going down. Yeah, it is like that. It is that. Going 
Is it a UFO? We can't figure it out. A viewer reaching out saw these large bright lights in the skies over the strip in downtown. He says they're bigger than the helicopters we see circling uh, many, many times. And we just heard back from Nellis. They say not involved in this. So if you think you know what these are, or you've seen these, you can reach out. Let us know right on our website, adusnow.com. Top story there. Hey, look, all the orbs and stuff in the sky, bro, like, am I the only person with this thought? Just like, all right, bro, I'm tired of seeing the orbs. Like, they're cool and all. You know, I see them pretty much every night. If you, bro, if you're in, if you're in the AZ area, bro, Nevada, California, all of that, bro, you see them every night. I don't know about everywhere else. Y'all let me know in the comments down below. Where are you at and are you seeing the orbs? But I'm tired of seeing them stories, bro. They're cool and all, but look. Come down a little closer so we can <laughs> get a better look at your ass. Hold on, pause. <laughs> oh my god. Right when I hit record, at that second, the object was passing straight over the top of my house. And what I got on tape was a disc shaped object turned on its side with a dome this way, the, ob the bottom part this way as it flies over my house. It suddenly does a U-turn and then jumped about a mile and a half in like a matter of a half a second to where I couldn't even see it anymore. So I started scanning the sky for it. Finally, about a minute and a half later, I caught it again. And this time, when I zoomed into the object, it was a lot further away. But it, it seems that it was still on its side. People need to know and realize that this is a structured, domed, metallic machine that is running under its own type of propulsion system. It's running under something that we can only dream about. That's the, I, I, I'm not even gonna hold y'all. Look, I just recently went on a trip. That's the same object that I saw a few times. Either it was following me or I was just in the area where it was at a lot of times. Y'all, y'all do what y'all want with that information. When I drop the video, it's gonna be astounding, bro. Like what was happening around me when I'm when I'm when I'm out in places, bro. And you can tell that the the, the footage, bro, like the footage is gonna speak for itself, bro. That's the same craft. And I'm gonna prove it to y'all. It's crazy. The same craft. Now, look, let's not get so excited, bro, because what we do know about the technologies is that 
you know, other companies do own UFOs and stuff like that. So so do the uh, United States military. So it can be them too as well. I hate to spoil that party. They can just be, you know, keep monitoring niggas and shit. But we're going to see what happens with all of this, though. Like, it, it's crazy. Get this video to 20,000 likes. I'll drop that video tomorrow. Whistleblower report uh, alleging that the U.S. military has been retrieving craft of non-human origin for at least several decades. Are we alone? And if we were not, would you even tell us? I would refer that question to the Department of Defense and let them answer that question for you. Go ahead. If you'll indulge me, I'd like to read two pages from advice from the extraterrestrials. Yes, it's true that we have been in contact with your government and heads of power. It is also true that we have been in contact it is also true that agreements have been made and kept secret from your people. It is also true that in the past, some of your people have lost their lives or have been badly hurt to protect the secret. Our hands had no part in this. We contacted your leaders because your planet is in grave trouble. Your leaders said the vast majority of your population wasn't ready for anything like us yet. So we made time agreements with your leaders as to when your people would be made aware of our presence. Your air, your water are contaminated. Your forests, jungles, trees, and plant life are dying. There are several breaks in your food chain. You have an overwhelming amount of nuclear and biological weapons, which include nuclear and biological contamination. Your planet is overpopulated. Warning, it is almost to the point of being too late unless your people act. There are better ways of deriving energy and food needs without causing your planet any damage. Those in power are aware of this and have the capability of putting these methods into worldwide use. Those in power view it as a military and security threat. That upset me. You mean to tell me that the people in power have the ability to save and better the planet and they aren't doing it? Amnesty. What do you mean? Complete amnesty to those in power. Governments and leaders who have been suppressing the truth that they can't be held liable for any past wrong deeds. It is the only way these leaders can come forward with the truth it is necessary that you do this in order to work together and survive. Look, sounds alarming, doesn't it? Like, look, 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 check this out, though. You know, with all the advanced technologies that we do have, right, and the capabilities we have. Now, for the reason why I didn't speak out about the submarine situation, y'all, if you don't know about the submarine situation, it went down in the submarine and then imploded. I knew it imploded the first day because, bro, our technology is so advanced. They would, they would, they would have scanned it, the water, and they would have known. But look, check this out even deeper. With us knowing that we possess certain technologies, as far as like, bro, I've, I've seen technology with my own two eyes, bro, with my profession and stuff like that. But let me will say this. I will say this is, uh, we got all this advanced technology, and you're telling me, like, even if they were at the bottom of the ocean and it didn't implode. They still wouldn't have got those people up in time and, you know, got them out of there with the, the with oxygen. They would have ran out of oxygen. And I, I, I think it's a lack of a, it's just a lack of caring, shall I say. Our empathy on this and sympathy on this planet is at an all-time low, vibrating very, very low. You see the frequencies. You see what certain entities are willing to do in order to have certain agendas and make you grovel in fear of everything that they do we got to stop vibrating in fear and, and elevate for sure do you know it, you, you can you can go from the east coast to the west coast underground underground completely underground without having to, without having, having to come up and there's turnoffs you need security clearances to get through these turnoffs they go into other bases they go into other areas and you know uh, secret places Places you can't go. And what do they do there? Uh, they do a lot of things. I can tell you one thing. They have two sets of elevators. And my security clearance got me got me down to the main 
the main hub, which is as big as Manhattan. I mean, it's as big as Manhattan. It's unbelievable. They have a, they have their own. They have acres of of farm farmland wait, wait, with lights and farmland underground. underground. They run the lights off nuclear. Underground. Yeah, they have they have nuclear power plant underground, and they use that for everything. All the power under there. They they grow food. Yeah, they grow food. They have livestock. I mean, everything. Yeah, they have everything. They have bench shafts. They have everything. Uh, but the two sets of bell. On this channel, we have reviewed the video showing the underground tunnels and them bringing food and a whole bunch of different supplies. So, look, loop the light, light, look. I think that's Cap. Come on, let's keep going. Though. The elevators I was telling you about, uh, my clearance, I, I can only go down to the main hub. Then there was another set of elevators that brought you down further. And uh, a bunch of friends of mine would tell me stories about that. Can you tell us anything about those stories? Yeah, I can tell you what they told me. What they told me is uh, there's actual aliens, uh, greys. Yeah, wait, wait. Aliens. aliens. What was the word, greys? Greys. And, and, and also that? there's what another kind. Uh, there's, a, there's, like different, there's different species that they, they talk about. Um, there's greys, there's uh, the so reptilians, wait, so all a, different kinds. A grey is a type of alien. Right. It's not really, a, it's, it's not really an alien. It's, it's a drone. It's not really a... It's like a um, an organic drone. It's that's exactly what it is. What does that mean, an organic drone? It's not it's not a living thing. It's um it's in living tissue, but it's a drone. They're not. If it, they're a drone, right? All right. So check this out. Uh, there there's been a lot, and then we can we we can we can loop this all into one thing. If some people are lost, man, about organic technologies. Organic te technology can be us. So some of us here are not even like real. You're just a vessel that was thrown together you think that you're alive and you're real they've been putting this shit in all the shows lately and stuff like that so just think man and then we just dropped a video what yesterday they were talking about them growing babies and stuff they're growing babies and what 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 those things could be used for is what you can get body parts from them from the original person you can use if you're if your lung is failing you can take it from your other body and plant it in you and keep yourself going or they can place your consciousness into that body so then you will have a fresh vessel and you know that's what they're talking about with these grays and all this other type of stuff and how they got this way why can't they reproduce why do you think they can't reproduce that's because they're not organic and they're not real what you think is happening to a lot of uh people on this planet they can't even reproduce at an all-time low right now that's because a lot of things aren't organic people but look we're just gonna keep going man are y'all tracking y'all picking up this is getting crazy out here, but look, these these are just theories, though. I'm not saying I'm 100%, but. Energy. And if the electromagnetic field or frequency barri barrier can be altered so that higher frequencies can come in and that pineal gland kicks in, then you will be once again in tune with your planet. And mankind having no soul, having only the ability to report to the Lord God Master will go crazy and begin to dysfunction and do crazy things. Human, who is part of both, will begin to- Hey, that praising, bro, look, I'm gonna tell y'all this from experience. I got a person right now that's like, oh, super into like church and stuff like that, but this person is doing the most ungodly things ever. I'm talking about stalking me, everything, harassing me, everything making up stories about me and everything. But this is a person that frequents the church and is saying that, oh, they so sanctified, but really in, in, in actuality, they're the devil. I'm not saying that all people are like that, but I'm just saying this person, because they're watching this video, you look, you know, I just had to let them know y'all for the one time. <laughs> Put them fire emojis in the chat. Had to get them one time. Leave me alone. Question and try to follow its higher source. And the whole thing will lead to tremendous wars, or tremendous conflagrations. The war will last no time if the sons of God can awaken to who they are. Because once they get in tune with the planetary head, the planet will do whatever they as a unit ask for. That is what some of the Yoruba people understood, what the magicians understand, and in a small way, try once more to get in frequency with the slower heavens just above where they live or on their continent or the elemental kingdom can obey. It was meant that the sons of God, being of the seed of angels, didn't have to even do that. They could summon, they could call forth, they could put aside. 
But before any of that could be done, they had to first come into the consciousness and frequency of who they were. Again, I kind of repeat what I said when I was here before. This summer, you will hear, and starting this summer, probably for the next three years, about the sunspot activity being on the increase. You begin to hear more again about solar activity, prominences, all types of energy from the sun that will be very harmful. You'll hear about ultraviolet light, burning tissue, and melanomas, and carcinomas affecting the blood and the skin of people on earth. For the sons of God who have an active pineal, that will be a day of blessing, for it will not affect you. You will not be burned, you will simply darken, and the melanin growing, it's almost like a vicious cycle to make you more and more powerful. As they get cancers of the skin and glands, you will get glands beginning to awaken and throwing out the frequencies that are not good and reconnecting the DNA molecules that were separated. For at one time we had 12 strands of DNA, now we have two. How could we function as an advanced God or being when we don't even have the right hookup? We can't go to 220. We've got to stay at 110, 120. That will activate the glands to begin to work on the molecules of the cells and the cell's DNA will begin to unite. What they call junk DNA is not junk DNA. It is where it all got blasted apart and now, like an amoeba, it will be coming together again and each cell in your body, blueprint, will begin to vibrate faster as you become once what you were, the true sons of the God. For man to be man at this time, man must understand his feminine counterpart that is within him, his animal counterpart that is within him, the angel and God counterpart that is within him, and his own soul blueprint, which is him. That's why you will find people undergoing hypnosis, past life recall, flashbacks of things and intuitively that they didn't know happened, but they'll begin to see their past lives come forth. People that they meet that they'll be drawn to and they don't know why. Places that they'll go and they'll go to and they don't know why. But each time you'll find that there's a benefit that comes when you follow that mind because it will be something of an experience that will help to reawaken you. You must remember who you were. You must work with the DNAs in order for the DNAs to begin to entwine together. Now when we understand that as this pineal gland flashes more and more, as the pyramid begins to also begin to go off sound and the sphinx begins to vibrate, that it is only a sign that the sons of God are calling forth their fathers and the angels are now being summoned to return. When they come back, the sky will be full of spaceships. Some are already there and seen by those who can see in that frequency, others never see them. When that happens, all granite formations in, on, and around our earth will begin to give off sounds and vibrations. It will be a sign. With that will increase mighty earthquake and volcanic activity. It has to be that way. And if you happen to live on a fault line, you best move. If you hold back further the retardation of this planet, you are not serving the planet and the planet cannot serve you. You will always be told once you're a psychic when to move on and what to avoid. And the more you come in tune with the lines of force coming into our planet, the more will be your radio that is built in that will operate and you will just know what to do or what to avoid. You'll know who to trust and who to accept. You'll know when you're powerful and when you're weak and you'll know what to do to increase either one. The thing is, will you follow that inner voice and that inner sign? Man is separate from mankind who is an invention by the Lord God. The Lord God is a planetary ruler, and each planet has rulers, and this one went a little bit berserk because of things that happened, which we'd have to talk about, which is under the science called cosmology. It has nothing to do with the first cause, cause God a creator. Please do not say that I said that. We're talking about advanced beings who from time to time see the planet, and from time to time even interfere with the planet, and now they must move on. The creation that was here that went through all of this will be double rewarded because the souls that choose to incarnate at this time, which we call children, and have incarnated for the last 40 years, the advanced triggers now will be rewarded for what they came here and suffered greatly through to get the job done and to show again that the angels could return. Children 
are our key. That's why the state wants to run your children, disrupt your home, and do everything it can to stop that soul from awakening and being the mighty army that they were sent here to be. This is where we must talk to women and mothers. We must talk to the man, however, because in many cases it is the boy child that is the one that will carry forth the great ruler out of which his continents will come, that the angels will walk through and work through, and whose chamber will awaken just as the Sphinx and Pyramid is awakening. Let me just say this as I conclude the first part. They not only have found the same Sphinx on Mars, as the Zulu also told you, but on the moon, on Jupiter, and everywhere they go, the same Sphinx stares them back. The sons of God did not just come to the earth. They are the masters of our solar system and our constellation. Just as in Star Wars there was wars between the good and bad, there was a war here on earth. They hid that book from the Bible, the wars of the lords. They hid all of the things that would let you begin to understand that you were different from the other races of Earth, and Earth was your home, not theirs. But now that you can come into consciousness, you won't have to worry about getting out in the street with AKAs, going out in the street and shooting them up. You can carry more power that will stop any bullets from being fired. You can cause earthquakes to happen or not. You can cause fire to actually come from the sky. I'm not trying to compliment you because misuse it will burn you up too. It's just a simpler way of understanding as you're beginning to come into your own, certain conditions are necessary. Whoo, that's a lot, right? That's a lot. But what he was saying, though, y'all got to think when this video was made and then what's currently happening now. What are they doing now, y'all? They're targeting what? the kids you know there was a uh i like i still look I, I i play call of duty i used to anyway until we started to like really see what was happening it started targeting kids with a certain mantra this 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 um creator nick Merckx, one of the biggest streamers on call of duty called them out and said leave the kids alone they took his his um his skin like his skin like you can beat him on a video game they took it off the store so his friend uh tim the tap man was like take me off too then and I was with it too. So I ain't playing Call of Duty either, bro. Y'all attacking the kids and what he said wasn't wrong. Y'all targeting kids with stuff that they shouldn't even be learning that early. And I agree because I'm a person with children too at the same time. And we need to protect the kids at the end of the day. And I don't care how none of y'all feel about this. You weird as hell if you ain't out here and you want to protect the children. That's just me. I stand on that. It ain't no debating about it, no nothing. Ain't no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You know, but we got to protect the children a lot more with that. We got to we got we, <laughs> look, man, we got to stand up on something, man. A lot of people, a lot of men are weak, but we need to find that place of balance. I'm not saying you need to be out here and be beating people up, shooting people up, stuff like that. But nah, be a man, stand up on something and stop being a. I ain't going to say it on YouTube. <laughs> I tell you a person if you ever meet me. So that's why people going to be joining me on these excursions and stuff like that. And, you know, what I'm saying seeking more information on a lot of these different things. But look, let's get back into it. I just had to. I'm sorry, y'all. A lot of manginas walking around here. Solar flares. What we what we talking about, y'all? Yeah? Officials in Argentina and Uruguay are working to restore power after a massive electrical failure left parts of both countries in the dark. The widespread blackout started Sunday morning. Authorities are not yet sure what triggered it. Nearly 50 million people were affected. Trains suspended operations, but planes were still able to take off as airports turned to generators. The power outage also hit parts of Chile, Paraguay, and Brazil. Message. We just talking, though. And it's very there. Very there. Very there. That's, That's the a sun. new one. <laughs> <laughs> That's where white women funny as hell. <laughs> she said it's very there. All right. <laughs> Mind blown. The Matrix. Watch how far I can zoom on this. That's a legit thing. That's the sun. What is that? Why can't I see it? I don't know. Why is it just my phone? 
there. I just. Hey, y'all can look it up, man. There's certain phones that can see, uh, that got certain filters on them, and they can see a lot of these things. That's why, you know, certain entities are starting trying to stop those phones from being produced. But look, we can keep on. The moon doesn't rotate. We never see the backside. That means you could come and go in a spacecraft. We can't see squat. And then you've got helium-3 laying on the surface of the moon. Well, what is helium-3? Why is it so important? Shove it into a reactor and watch what happens to the reactor. Zero radiation. Clean thermal nuclear power. Whoever controls helium-3 controls the world. Well, that would be the new source of power. That's why they're hiding. would stagger them mostly is um, in Britain, the Queen Mother has an image of being the nation's grand grandmother the nice old lady and uh good old queen mom what a lovely lady what's your experience of of the queen mother she is very cold in reality and she is very cruel she obviously from what i see enjoys consuming human flesh uh, it's sickening do they go into a different state um, uh, in terms of age and strength and, and all these other attributes when they actually shapeshift? Yes, uh, the, the human body that they, that they choose to occupy or take when it was young, it ages. But when they take the reptilian form, they still, these reptilians live hundreds of years and so they have to have taken more than one human body to live in uh, there a lot of them are much much older and I'm including the Queen Mother in this and older than than people think that that she is she's been in more than one body human form and when the time comes if it is time for her to go on and it's been chosen that she still has, I mean, it's known that she still has the right for years to go, again, she will be put into the body, the essence of her and the reptilian form will go, or the essence of her will go into another body that is also, has the ability to shapeshift into reptilian form. One of the, one of the pure rep Listen to me. They are pulling food off of Walmart and Sam's Club and all these places. If you've eaten any fucking great value food, all right, frozen foods, uh, Kool-Aid drinks, or even any, anything else great value, all right, they're saying that this shit came from Mexico and is fucking and contaminated with hepatitis. They've known about this for months. In 32 states, they're pulling it off, including the state that I'm in right now, Arizona. If you've had any fatigue, if your stool, if you have brown pee, if you had some weird stool or anything, all right, get checked out immediately. Um, this has been going on for months, and now they're pulling it off the shelves. And they're doing this before the FDA comes out and says anything. So you know it must be a big fucking deal. Come on. But the FDA is reporting that nobody is reporting any cases that are related to the uh, 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 to hepatitis so far. So you're telling me everything's fine, but they're just pulling the shit off the fucking uh, 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 shelves and trying to get rid of all fucking updates. But you're telling me nobody's reported of anything. That's bullshit. I bet there's people out here that have mad complaints, mad reports, and it hasn't gone anywhere. They're poisoning us. They're killing us. Okay? This is hepatitis. This is the elite. This is Walmart. They're killing you. This is the truth. I will play the video. Um, I'm going to run the video on my, on, on my page where I got the information from. Remember, information like this isn't coming from the news. We have to get our own information. And we have to learn to trust each other when we tell each other these things. Walmart is pulling 
all kind of frozen foods and shit by great value off their shelves. Walmart, Sam's Club, uh, 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 Costco, all that shit. Okay? This is a big fucking deal. They just sprayed that shit in New York. And we don't know what that is. But I know one thing. All these cryptids and all these weird animals live in the forest. They live there. If you burn up the forest, where else are these animals and these things are going to go? They're going to come down, down not to us, looking for food. They are trying to make this into the worst thing that you've ever had in your life. And you're letting them do it by not doing anything about it. It is time to protest. It is time to quit the system. It is time to stop working. It is time now. So for all those Republicans in Congress criticizing me today for high gas prices in America, are you now saying we were wrong to support Ukraine? Are you saying we were wrong to stand up to Putin? Are you saying that we would rather have lower gas prices in America and Putin's iron fist in Europe? Uh, nigga, yeah. 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 Like, yeah, super yeah. We get, wait, we get cheaper gas? Yeah. Why yeah. would you even ask that question? Was this an option the whole time? All right. <laughs> I'm going, yeah. I'm saying, yeah. My vote is, yeah. Yes. It's a lot to unpack, bro. It's a lot for just one video, man. I'm trying to keep these things a little bit focused, but it's just a lot of moving pieces. And you know what, though? A lot of people aren't going to believe in the cryptids and stuff like that until, you know, stuff starts to really happen in their area. Like, if y'all don't pay attention, just like we, the, 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 the man was talking about being in tune with the planet, right? See, a lot of people want to say that they're evolved and this and that. Woo, woo, woo. All right, look, I can make a separate video for y'all. And that's 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 weird. Y'all y'all being weird. But look, man, let's, if you were that in tune, you understand what the things that's happening. Just yesterday out in my area, and this is not normal for the U.S. or whatever, not for me anyway, right? And this is something I'm not comfortable with, familiar with, nothing, nothing, right? There was a damn mountain lion. I'm talking about a mountain lion bigger than me out here where I'm at, drinking out of uh, somebody's swimming pool. A mountain lion bigger than me, drinking out of their pool. It was big, y'all, and I ain't gonna hold you. A mountain lion. We already have bobcats that are big out here, and we have, uh, you know, those, uh, those, those, those foxes and wolves out here too, as well. Coyotes. You know what I'm saying? All of these things have been. Look, I seen a bobcat on top of the house, or it might have been a mountain lion, like a couple weeks ago. Out here, they're getting a lot closer, and this is a populated area. They're coming a lot closer to us because of all this stuff that they're doing, all the fires, all the resources being taken away from the wildlife out in the forest and in the wilderness, all of the building, all of the cutting down of things, everything is converging and collapsing on itself. So now everybody is forced to figure out a different way of life. Meanwhile, we're still fighting for our children out here not to get manipulated and indoctrinated with the same BS that they did to us. You see what it did to us, man. You seen all the lies that they told all of us when we went to school. And that's everybody. They lied and they manipulated. Some of us went to schools where they taught you how to act like an inmate. Even the buildings were set up. It looked like a prison. It felt like a prison. You couldn't wear certain things, right? But in other schools that's on a different side of town, they're learning how to manipulate the law early on as children. So you get these set of people right here that's been treated like inmates and that's all they get treated like. Then you have this other group of children on the other side of your, on the same town or state, wherever you at, city, district, whatever you want to call it, learning about law and the ins and outs about law in the third grade. And they're going through mock trials in school. You get where that's going? You get a certain demographic that know how to do this, a certain grant that, that don't. They know how to elevate, you know, do different means that might not be so lawful, but these people know all about the law and they know how to lock these people up. What does that feel like to y'all? It's always a divide somewhere. Why can't things just be 
equal per se if everybody want to be equal but look man that's enough for, for me here today man i just had to get y'all that it's crazy out here believe what y'all want to do just make sure that y'all doing y'all due diligence man and getting out here doing your own research and making sense of the things and stop listening to everything that you hear on social media even me and included you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna exclude myself from this because i I don't know everything. I don't claim to even know everything. I'm just coming on here to have a dope conversation with some dope like-minded people about the things that's going on in the world. And hopefully one day we can change this, man. But like I always say, man, spread love because there's too much hate in this world. I love you guys. i see you on the next video. And I'm out, though. Bye.